In this video clip, we are going to do some calculations concerning a discount instrument. We are going to calculate the consideration at issue, and then we're going to see how we calculate the yield on this instrument. Now, you will remember from the previous video clip, we explained to you that the maturity value of a discount instrument is equal to the nominal value. Therefore, this instrument, it is equal to a million rand. Right. Now, what I have here, I've got the formula sheet that you are going to get when you write exam. It's also available in Tutorial Letter 101. There is a copy in Learning Unit 4. When you write exam, you don't have to remember the formulas. You are going to get them on this formula sheet. So work with the formula sheets all of the time so that you know where to find the correct formulas. Right, so here we have the formulas for discount instruments. First thing we are asked to do is to calculate the consideration of this discount instrument at issue. The formula that we are going to use is, we're going to say consideration is equal to nominal value times, in brackets, 1 minus the discount rate times N. Consideration. is equal to the nominal value times 1 minus the discount rate times N. Right. The nominal value is found on the instrument that is equal to 1 million. times in brackets 1 minus the discount rate. Now in this case, the discount rate is 10%. Now 10% is the same as 10 divided by 100, so it is equal to 0, 0,1. So we're going to use 0, 0,1, and then we have to use N. Now, N, as we said previously, is the portion of the year left until maturity. This instrument is going to run from 1 March 2015 to 30 April 2015, and there are 61 days from 1 March to 30 April. So that means N is equal to 61 divided by 365, the number of days in a year. So we're going to replace N with 61 divided by 365. Right, so all we have to do now to calculate the consideration is to do the calculation. Now you use your calculator for that. And what I do is I always start from the back, work out the amount in brackets first, multiply by the nominal value, and then you have your consideration. 61 divided by 365 times 0.1. That gives us 0, 0.016712. And that's going to give you, if we write it down, 1 million, 1 minus 0, 0.016712. 712. That should be subtracted, so we change that to a minus. We add 1, so the amount in brackets is 0, 0.983288, and that's going to give you, if we write it down, the amount in brackets is 0, 9,8,3,2,8. We multiply that with the nominal value of a million. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That gives you 
983287.67, which is the consideration. And that's going to give you, if we write it down, 983287,67. Right. So this is the amount that's going to be paid for this discount instrument on the 1st of March. 983,287 rand and 67 cents. You can see that this amount is less than the nominal value which is going to be paid at maturity. So the difference between this amount and the one million that you are going to receive at maturity, that is your discount. If you want to calculate the discount amount, it's easy. The discount amount is equal to the nominal value that you're going to receive at maturity minus what you are paying for it today. 983,000 287 rand and 67 cents. Right, let's do that calculation. So it's the nominal value, a million, minus the consideration, 983287.67. That gives you 16,712 rand and 33 cents. Right, so that is going to be your return for this instrument. You're going to pay 983,287 rand and 67 cents for it on the 1st of March. You're going to receive a million on the 30th of April. And the difference between those two amounts, the discount, is going to be your return on it, the profit that you're going to make. Right. But now sometimes you want to calculate the yield on this instrument. And you want to calculate that because you want to be able to compare it to another instrument. And this yield that you may have to calculate will always be the yield for a full year. So the yield per annum. Right. To calculate the yield, we go back to our formula sheet and we're going to use this formula. Yield, IY, is equal to the discount amount, which we have calculated, divided by consideration, which we have also calculated, times 1 over N, which is the inverse of N. Right. So if we want... We can write down the formula again. Your yield is going to be your discount amount divided by consideration times 1 divided by n. We have calculated the discount amount. It's 16,712 rand and 33 cents divided by your consideration, what you paid for it. 983,287,67 times... Now, if N is equal to 61 divided by 365, then 1 over n will be the inverse of that. 365 divided by 61. So if we do that calculation, 16,712 divided by the consideration 
767 cents and we multiply by 365 and divide by 61 that gives us 0 0.101700 otherwise that is equal to 10 comma 17 percent right now you can see that this instrument that this discount instrument the discount on it was 10 percent and now the yield is slightly higher it is 10,17 percent now why is that why is the yield on this discount instrument higher than the discount rate Let's explain it to you quickly. When you calculate the yield, you take the discount and you divide it by the consideration, the amount that you paid for it. Because the consideration is smaller than the nominal value, you are going to get a larger percentage. Because when you calculate the discount rate, that is actually going to be the discount divided by the nominal value. Now the consideration is smaller than the nominal value, therefore your yield rate will be higher than your discount rate. You also have to be able to explain that if asked in the exam.